All right, hello again, folks. Um, this is a, a bit of a makeover on the garage session. Well, hopefully, anyway. Um, I'll, I'm doing the video intro, and then a lot of it's going to be photos just added to it because otherwise it'll take way too long to record it all. As you can probably tell, I'm a little bit lacking in space here at the moment. But the people that were giving me all the pallets that one of the previous videos was on have actually given me a large quantity of MDF sheeting. So the idea is going to be going up that way. So I've bought some more 4 by 2s to continue across on all the other rafters. Because obviously it wasn't done to take a, a weight of anything up there. So I'll be can, continuing the building work on that and putting noggins across to brace it all. And then putting the MDF sheeting up. Um, I, I'll, like I say, I'll be taking photographs as I'm doing it and putting it in. And maybe the odd sort of snippet of a video. If I think it might be something that may help somebody out. But this is just the start up. I'm also thinking a possibility... Because I haven't pulled anything with this for years, of actually moving it, mounting it on the side, and then running up a winch similar to what I've got up there, but right in the very top, and putting in a hatchway so I can actually lift things up with the winch, rather than having to try and carry it up a ladder. But we'll get to that as I go around. So, hopefully... The next time you see this, it may be a bit more like a workshop. Right, back in the garage. As you can see, making a bit of progress. About halfway through doing, I've just taken all the wood off the other side to get ready to do that. Give you a quick look if I can get up the ladder without falling down. So that kind of gives you the idea how it will be. Now this is going to be where the hatch will be. I've decided not to do one with the electric winch after all. It's too much work and I think too much weight to do it. So I'm inside what will be the hatch now up to this bracing. So it's about three foot by three foot. Somewhere around that. So it makes it a bit easier to get the trays in and out. Oh. Uh, yeah. So the next job now is to put the other cross braces in there and then put the noggins in and start boarding up that side. So back with an update again soon. Right, just a little update. Yeah, coming in, I've almost finished it. I've got a few bits to put in over the far end there's a strip that's got to go in across to fill in a little gap over there. The only part I couldn't get a bit more level, I don't know whether you can see it on this one here, there's a bit of a bow because the original rafter was just too warped out of shape to get level. As you can see, there's the loft hatch. And what we do to open it, put a little pulley system in which then comes down and hooks onto here. So, so you just get hold of that, give that a pull. Let me just hold that for a second because it's doing it one-handed. And then that hooks on there. Goes up through. And we can see that all up in there. So I'll do another another little update shortly when I'm finishing off the last part up there. But hopefully it'll be done either today or tomorrow. 
Right, the roof's done. So, uh, it's not the prettiest job, but it should do it. So, uh, I mean, for some, it probably seems a bit overkill for the amount of storage space. It'll help me get a lot of the stuff out the main garage itself and put up here out of the way. So if anybody wants to know anything about, you know, how it's done, obviously this isn't the best video, but just give me a shout and I'll see if I can explain anything you need to know. All right, take care folks, bye.